Hello guys, I've been playing some Warzone recently and I just love looking at all the details, like his suit there, moving with the wind. There's a little bit of clipping there, but overall I think it's excellent. And I noticed that one detail that I like to look at is the vegetation. So let's take a closer look at the vegetation here. So I'm going down in parachute and letting you have a closer look at the leaves and the grass and look here. Do you notice something? I asked one of my 3D artist friends, Thomas, how do they make grass and leaves in video games? And he said that a lot of times developers use a technique where they just use a plane and use a transparent texture on it. They, in this game, they use it on the grass, also in these tree leaves here, in the bushes, all around the place I've seen and noticing how they used like a slightly bent plane. You can see there, if you look from the side, uh, it disappears. It's because it's a plane uh, and then you put a transparent texture in it in order to save resources. Give me a second, please. Stop shooting at me. I'm trying to make a video here. Stop it. Don't disturb me when I'm making a video. All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, so as I was saying, um, I, we were taking a look at bushes and grass and tree leaves. And I think the only thing I found is uh, different, like it doesn't use this technique, is the flowers. The flowers, I realized they're using like a cone or something like that. And they placing the texture on top of the cone. But besides the flowers, most of the vegetation is made with this technique I'm talking about. So how do we make this in Unity? From what I understand, Making a 3D model of leaves would require a lot of polygons. So if you're not in need of incredible detail, a better way to do things could be to make a plane and then add a transparent texture to it. Here I am making a 3D model of a tomato plant. And as you can see, I am making a bunch of planes that I curve upwards where the leaves are supposed to be. After that, I made a texture in Photoshop, which I will then place on those planes we made. Now, setting this up in Unity is fairly simple. Here I have the 3D model of the tomato plant we made. You can clearly see the planes where the leaves are supposed to go. And here we have the texture that we made in Photoshop. Now, this photo has to have transparency, so you must use a format like PNG. Now, one thing we have to make sure is that in the import settings for this texture, we set it as alpha source input texture alpha. And also we have to check alpha is transparency. All right. Once we have that, we can start working on here. First, I'm going to drag the tomato plant 3D model onto the scene. You can see the shaders are making some shadow on it and everything. So it's working. And here you can see that I separated the stem of the plant from the leaves, each of the leaves, so we could use different materials on each of them. Uh, but that will be up to you. Now you can simply drag your texture onto a part of the 3D model and that will automatically create a material for us. So let's do that. I'm going to drag it here and you see that a materials folder was created here where I'm working with this tomato plant. Now, if we go to materials, you will see a material called tomato plant. Now, it's, it was applied to the stem of the plant, but it was not applied to the leaves of the plant. So let's also drag this material to the leaves. A faster way to do it could be to grab all this, all these leaves and drag the material down here. So it's going to add that material to all of these leaves. Now, you see it looks weird. It has all these lines. You can clearly see uh, the, the lines here, the edges. We don't want that. So a uh, few things that we're going to do to improve this. First of all, go to the tomato plant material here that we made. And you can see we're using just the standard shader and that's the shader we're going to use. But here on rendering mode, we want to change it from opaque, opaque, I'm not sure how to pronounce the word, to transparent. All right, now we change it to transparent, but you still see there's a little thing here, like it looks grayish, like a plastic. So 
what is the best way to do that? Can we fix that by changing this? No, we cannot. What we can do is actually use cutout. So cutout is basically going to, it's like using a pair of scissors and cutting around the texture. And you can set the alpha cutoff so you can increase the threshold. You can adjust it to your liking. So just going to use uh, around 0 0.6. Yeah, you can play around with those values. Another thing you can do is that you can decide whether or not you want it to cast shadows. So you can set it to off and you can also set it so it doesn't receive shadows. For my game, I don't want it to receive shadows. So the other setting that I didn't mention was fade. And a fade, although it works because it cuts out around the the texture where it's not transparent, fade, it actually makes where your texture is transparent. So you can clearly see the stem through this leaf. So depending on what you want to do, maybe something made from glass, like cut out glass or something like that, you might choose fade or transparent. But for these leaves, since I don't want them to be transparent, I'm going to use cutout. All right, now I don't want to have these greases and edges so hard. Like we can clearly see where the greases are. And to fix that, what I'm going to do is go to Tomato Plant, the FBX, the 3D model. And here in Model, I'm going to go down and we want to change something on the import settings. So first of all, we want to see the normals and instead of importing them, we want to calculate them. Let Unity calculate the normals for us. So I'm applying that and immediately you can see that it has been smoothed out a lot. Like now this looks round, even though it's pretty squared when we made it. Um, and here, the smoothness source, you can see from angle, prefer smoothing groups. So I'm not an expert on this, but from what I understand, uh, you can choose from angle and uh, then you can play around with this smoothing angle. So you see if we choose a smaller angle, this is going to look sharp again. But if we increase the angle, even very sharp things look smooth again. So for example, we might want to have our stem to look very sharp and hard. So since it has uh, sharper angles, they're not going to be smoothed out. And however, the leaves, since they have uh, like bigger angles, they're going to be smoothed out. So it really depends on your model and what parts of your model you want to clearly show where the greases are and which parts you don't want to show, like you want to show smooths like the leaves here. So for me, I probably would like to have a sharp stem, uh, I don't know, and uh, the leaves. If we decrease the angle even further, uh, probably we're going to see that now even the leaves are going to look sharp again. And then you see shading uh, from that side and not just from like, it all gets illuminated uh, equally. So basically that's it. Uh, I'm going to go back to an angle like 60, 69 or something like that and apply that. And you'll see uh, that's too much. So it smooths my stem, uh, but I will play with the, with the values until my stem looks sharp. There you go. So now it looks sharper and um, this looks as smooth. So you can play around with those settings too. Uh, you can grab any 3D model and play around Remember to make a backup so you don't mess anything up by accident. And I will leave this 3D model and the texture in the description of this video. So feel free to download it and play around with it. And there you go. That's the trick my friend taught me to how to easily make leaves, even though these leaves are actually planes. If we see the wireframe, you will see that it's just a plane and we're tricking everyone. So uh, the polygon count should be lower. Uh, but we are still able to get detail in this plant, especially since in my game, I don't need to have a lot of detail. It's going to be from far away. Uh, this works pretty, pretty well. So let me know what you think. And please tell me in the comments what other use cases for this technique you can think about. I think of grass, leaves, vegetations, and uh, maybe something like, for example, details in a bookshelf or something like that. But I would love to know what you think, which other part of a game we could use this technique to save on resources and to quickly make details for it.
So thank you so much for watching guys, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all very soon on another video. Goodbye!